Uh, no skate FPV asks. Uh, thank you, by the way, for a five dollar super chat. I am switching all my DJI Vista to goggles too, and was wondering if I should be changing out my antennas to linear five point eight. Ooh, that's a tough one. So you've got Vista video transmitters with left-hand polarized antennas, and you're going to the goggles too, which has linear polarized antennas. Um, here's what I would suggest you do. Steve Trix, I agree with your advice. Just leave it alone right now. See, there's this thing I do, like I will think about a theoretical problem that might affect me in the future, and I will immediately start problem solving that, and maybe even thinking about spending money to try and buy a solution to the problem. And then if I'm smart, and if I'm having a good day, I kick myself and I say, wait, I don't need to solve this problem right now. I can just wait. And that's what my advice to you is, no skate. Um, just get the goggles too, use them with your quads, and see what you think of the range that you're getting, okay? And maybe like take one quadcopter and swap it out for linear antennas. If you're looking for aftermarket linear antennas, um, well, pff, I mean, there's, there's a lot of choice there, I guess. Um, you could even, I've heard from a couple of people who are using this style of linear antenna and you're probably thinking, that, that's a crappy little cheap $2 antenna. How good could it be? And I've heard of people using this style of antenna on the O3, like on the Beta FPV Pavo Pico. It comes with that style of antenna. And I've heard of people say that actually the coverage is, very, it, the, the signal is actually very good that this style of antenna works really well with the goggles too. So maybe that's worth a test. Just get one or two of these and see how they work. But you don't need to rush to solve this problem. Just you test it out and you see how it goes.